Welcome back to a Bean Energy quick video here. I'm going to show a small battery setup using a higher voltage battery to run some 12 volt devices. So what we have here is an 8S2P BMW battery from batteryhookup.com. They don't always have these in stock. A lot of times they have the 3S or the 4S, which could actually work really well for this setup. If you did a 4S, you wouldn't have to use this voltage regulator that we'll get to here in just a second. I have a BMS here from Amazon that was only like 30 bucks. I'll throw a link down to that that has worked well. It is a dumb BMS in the sense there's no Bluetooth or screen or um, computer interface to it. It's very configurable because it can do um, 8 up to like 16S. So I'm able to just do an 8S here. There's no programming or whatnot to do in it. It just works. It does have top balancing, um, very small amount of top balancing, but these batteries, these, these BMW batteries stay in balance really well. So they don't typically need an active balancer. So off of this BMS, which I have zip tied here to the front, um, I have these connectors into the original connectors on the top of the battery. And I have the, the connectors that I use from DigiKey down there. You do have to um, spread the edges out just a little bit in order to get them to fit on. Solder that on to the B minus of the BMS and then off of the C minus of the BMS, I run off into my Palmister 60 amp charge controller here. And yes, it's got all the plastic wrap on it. I'm selling this to somebody. I didn't want to rip it all off. And I'm going to use this Palmister charge controller kind of as my junction box because it has two 10 gauge inputs on it. Um, we're, we're not planning on doing a lot of solar to charge this. It's only a two kilowatt hour pack. So he's probably gonna run like a single 330 watt solar panel on it. So a single 10 gauge wire to the charge controller is fine because I can handle about 30 amps. The BMS is a 60 amp BMS. And so what I did, since I'm only running a single 10 gauge, is I also fused it. Sometimes I will use the BMS as my, my disconnect or my fuse because it will break the circuit for short circuit. But in this case, I'm using smaller wire than the BMS is rated for. And so I've got a 30 amp fuse here in line on the positive side up to the positive terminal of the battery. So then we've got, so now we have the battery to the palmister. So from the palmister, I also have connected to the battery terminals here a little voltage regulator. Now this is like what you would have in a golf cart. I'm sure this is a replacement for a golf cart regulator available on Amazon. I'll throw the link down below. And it already comes with a mini fused link with, I think it had like a 20 amp or a 30 amp fuse in there. This is a 360 watt device that would be a 30 amp fuse. I went ahead and pulled it just so that while I'm plugging everything I don't have live voltage. And I, I, I wired that into the battery plus battery minus of the Palmister charge controller. I did not do that on the aux output since this is going to be a max of 30 amps. That's 30 amps on the, on the 12 volt side. 360 watts at a 24, 30 volts is still though like 15 amps. The output of the Palmister that can switch it on and off for low voltage cutoff is rated at five amps. So at 15 amps, I wanna go straight to the battery. And in this case, straight to the battery is the terminals on the Palmister. So then what I have is I get 12 volts here on these black and yellow wires off of this regulator. Whole setup basically allows me to have a higher voltage battery. This thing runs at about, what, 30 volts or so nominal, 28 or 30 volts, charged by the, the charge controller here. So I get a little bit advantage of the smaller wires. I'm just running a single 10 gauge. That'll give me 30 amps worth of charging into the battery. And then the, the charge controller too, this is oversized at 60 amps, but you could even run a 30 amp charge controller, a 20 amp charge controller and be fine. And then I still get my 12 volts so I could run like say ham radio stuff or like my other project with the LTO battery, run some telecom equipment or whatnot off of this. So that's just the real basics of how I set this up. I'll catch you again here on Bean Energy.